Hi, my name's Liam. I'm Commercial Director at Broadcast Radio here in the UK. We're a software company that developed the Myriad Playout system. We're also AEQ's distributor in the UK and a system is integrator. And I'm here today to give you a little insight into how we have used AEQ technology coupled with Dante Audio over IP to change the way we approach system integration. Prior to working with AEQ, we reselled an American digital mixing desk which used the proprietary audio over IP solution. So when we switched to AEQ, we had to learn a bit about Dante and how we could use it in our system integration and studio packages, as well as interfacing it with our Myriad Playout system. Thanks to the Dante virtual sound card, there was no integration work required to make Dante work with Myriad Playout. We simply installed the drivers and the devices appeared in the drop down lists in Myriad. A little more work was required to make Myriad Playout natively compatible with AEQ mixing desks. We started by adding in some native features via UDP, as well as expanding our hardware service to be able to natively talk to AEQ equipment using virtual GPI and virtual GPOs. Armed with just a basic understanding of Dante and a good knowledge of AEQ equipment, we undertook our first major project using Dante as the primary way of distributing audio for Lynx Group. The Lynx Group studio refit consisted of four on-air studios, plus a newsroom studio and a production studio. This was to service four radio services. Any of the studios had to be able to broadcast to any of the services and the production studio had to be able to broadcast to any of the services as well. We also needed to bring in external sources to all the studios as well as distribute the audio to the various transmission chains. As you can see, aside from a few analog sources such as microphones and outputs to speakers and headphones, virtually everything in this setup was using Dante. We used Dante for talkback between studios, as well as getting signals from the mixers to the racks, and of course, from the playout system to the mixer. To achieve this, we ran three separate networks, an office network, the Myriad playout network, and of course, the Dante and AEQ network. For audio signal routing, we used the AEQ Netbox 32 coupled with their RTC software to enable real-time audio routing controlled via Myriad Playout. Despite the complexity of this project, we didn't encounter any major hurdles and Lynx FM were able to launch their four stations on time and on budget. We also offer a range of pre-built studio packages which we converted to use AEQ equipment and Dante Audio over IP. The compact nature of the AEQ equipment coupled with the reduced wiring requirement using Dante meant we were able to provide systems like this SR2 Digital where everything is included in a 3 rack suspended underneath the woodwork. Other projects such as this UR7 allowed us to combine a fully functional radio studio into a very compact format. But what benefits are there to audio over IP for system integration? The simple answer is it is easier to install, easier to design for, and easier for the customer to support. Consider a simple challenge. Taking news from an external source and making it available automatically in any studio that is on air. This diagram shows a typical way it might be solved in a traditional radio station. As you can see, the audio comes in, it then goes into a distribution amp, and then is wired to each of the studios. You also need some type of audio switcher to allow you to switch the automated news on and off and control from your playout system. On the face of it, this diagram looks fairly simplistic, but you have to understand that you have to run a lot of audio cabling between the two studios, between the playout system and the studio mixers, and also back to the racks room in order to achieve it. Now let's consider how we may achieve the same results in a Dante enabled station. The analog news feed comes into a Dante interface, which is connected to a network switch. The playout system in each studio is also connected to the network switch, as is the mixing console. The only piece of analog audio wiring required is a feed from the news system into the Dante interface. In this specific example, we've also eliminated the need for the audio switch, 
as Myriad Playout is able to use virtual I.O. to trigger salvos on the mixing desk that can add the news feed directly to the PGM bus. On the face of it, this diagram doesn't look a lot more simple than the previous one. However, almost all the cabling here is standard network infrastructure, making installation much quicker and simpler, and also making it much easier for the end customer to be able to maintain their system. Although we've mainly focused on AEQ equipment in this video, it is important to keep in mind that many manufacturers produce Dante-enabled equipment. Companies such as Sonifex, CTP Systems, Monocore, and even Ordinate themselves offer a range of different devices and solutions that can help in any Dante-enabled project. It is also worth mentioning the Dante Virtual Soundcard Driver which is a software driver that can be installed on any PC that you wish to have access to the Dante network. The obvious application of this is multi-channel playout inside Myriad Playout 5 or multi-channel recording in Myriad Login. However, the low cost of the Dante Virtual Soundcard driver means it's practical and cost-effective to install Dante-enabled sound devices on almost any PC in your building that would benefit from having access to the audio over IP network. Almost every Dante-enabled project we've worked on so far has been achieved using a combination of AEQ equipment, Dante soundcard drivers, and a range of third-party interface and solution boxes from the likes of Sonifex, CTP Systems, and Monocore. Working with AEQ and Dante Audio over IP has allowed us to deliver cost-effective, innovative solutions to broadcasters of all types and sizes. If you'd like to know more, you can always email us at hello at broadcastradio.com or why not visit our website, broadcastradio.com. Thanks for listening.